Now, in February 2015, the Central Bank of Nigeria issued a circular directing all deposit, deposit money banks to implement the Remitter e-collection platform. The Remitter e-collection is a technology platform deployed by the federal government to support the collection and remittance of all government revenue to a consolidated account domiciled with the CBN. And this marked the beginning of the full implementation of Treasury Single Account, popularly known as TSA system in Nigeria. But how has this worked two years down the line? I'm being joined by the Executive Director, African Media Roundtable Initiative, Olabode Adeyemi, who is on a, in our Abuja studios. Good morning, Mr. Adeyemi. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Right. Thank you. Now, it's two years after implementation of the TSA initiative. What would you say are the gains and achievements of this initiative? Thank you so much. The, the gains, the achievements, and the successes are actually tremendous. They are so enormous, and uh, it has gone a step further to make us understand that Nigeria can actually work at any point in time. We have the political will to make it work. Let me start by saying that uh, there are two things that we appreciate God for over the implementation of TSA that has been doing well. Number one is the fact that we have a leadership in Nigeria that is committed to, I mean, sincerely following all process through which our revenues are, I mean, are gathered, which is the Buari administration that. Uh, 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 announced the full implementation of TSA September 15, I mean 2015. Another issue which you will be happy for is the fact that we have an indigenous innovation. Uh, uh, the Remitter platform is a software developed, managed, and brought up by completely an indigenous company named System Specs Nigeria Limited. It shows that uh, in the IT world, Nigeria is actually not doing badly. And uh, we are happy to announce that we have a system that was made in Nigeria that has been working in the last two years and have been doing brilliantly well. Let me quickly, uh, I mean, highlight some of the achievements the Treasury Single Account has been able to make in the last two years. Number one is the fact that uh, before the implementation of Treasury Single Account, Nigeria as a government, the uh, uh, department, ministry, and agencies had an excess of, of 17,000 different accounts in the name of different ministries, departments, and agencies. You agree with me definitely that it will be difficult for anybody to monitor, for anybody to, I mean, to guarantee fiscal responsibility in such a climb. But when the TSA came on board, 17,000 accounts from different commercial banks were closed down. Let me first of all tell you the first advantage, the first benefit of it is that immediately these accounts were closed down, Nigeria stopped losing four billion naira every month to what i call bank charges and cot's and whatever so it then means in the last two years that tsa have started nigeria has been able to save an excess of 80 billion naira on just bank charges alone now another point we must look at is that the treasury single account has made nigeria to become a nation that uh, that now has a response, I mean, that is fiscally responsible, a nation that is accountable, and a nation that can easily know what it makes per second, I mean, in terms of revenue. And you agree with me, just like any Nigerian will agree with me, that if, for instance, there was no TSA, and Nigeria ran into the recession, we found ourselves some few, I mean, until recently, then it becomes, it will become difficult for us as a nation to, have, to be able to spend our way out of a recession. So what I'm trying to say of essence is that we now have a government that, has demonstra that is demonstrating fiscal responsibility, accountability, and transparency. Because one area that uh, the uh, endemic corru corruption has been difficult to curb is in the business of governance in this nation. The people at the hands of the departments, ministries, and agencies of government have actually found themselves into what I call contagious corruption. It's a corruption that the moment I'm in the civil service, 
I know what is happening in ministry A, then I can easily replicate that in ministry B. Why is this possible? It is possible because I have the opportunity as the chief executive of such agency to determine, I mean, the management of the accruing fund that come to my agency. But now, just like you defined earlier, Treasury single account is now a system that allows all revenue of government that is coming from various agencies, various ministries and departments to come into one single account. Now, now this account is not owned by anybody. Mr. I, I want to emphasize that a Treasury single account is not owned by the CBA. Treasury single account is not owned by the Office of the Accountant, I mean, General of the Federation. It's also not owned by the Ministry of Finance. Neither is it owned by System Specs. It's an account that everybody or every stakeholder in this business sees what comes in per second. So it is Mr. easy Mr. for Demi, the Mr. Demi, to be able to plan. Mr. Demi, Mr. Demi, if you can, if you can listen to me, uh, you, you did mention that, of course, the uh, part of the essence for this TSA is actually to uh, block the leakages. Now, under the Buhari administration, the federal and state governments seem to have borrowed about 7.51 uh, uh, trillion. In your opinion, has the MDAs complied with TSA significantly, or do we still have those leakages? I, th thank you so very much. I can confirm to you that uh, the MDAs have substantially complied with the TSA I mean, uh, rule. And as I speak to you, if you want to buy a jam form, you need to pay to TSA. And that is the reason why... Recently, Jam Registrar made Nigerians to understand that just for 2017 Jam registration alone, the organization was able to make for government an amount that is more than the total of what has been made 10 years running. You can understand the meaning of that. If in just one year, Jam alone can make times 10 of, of what they have been making in the years past, it's an indication to show that TSA is actually working. Today, no. I can tell you, that one of the areas through which palm sex directors and government officials take away our monies is through what they call Esther codes, digital allowance, out of pocket allowance, and all of that. They were able to do all of this successfully because these monies were at their disposal. It is easy, for instance, for the DG of Agency A that is, I mean, getting money for government to easily decide to use the money without approval or without any, I mean, legislative backup. Because the money is at their disposal. As a matter of fact, I can tell you that some agencies have actually accounts that nobody knew about. But with the advent of the Treasury single account, all of these are not possible again. I've been part of a, a, I mean, a, I mean, part of a National Assembly, I mean, a budget defense, where a particular head of agency came and said he made one billion in X Y Z year and that they reinvested the one billion into the system. For me, this is a gross violation of the provisions of the Constitution because no agency of government is permitted to spend a cobalt that is generated except it is now appropriated for. So all of this cannot happen again because we have a treasury no. single account. I and I can also tell you now that uh, government can easily sit down and uh, plan the next fiscal year based on the projection of what they believe will come in through the Treasury single account system. But before and now, all Mr. of these Davey. are impossible. So I want to tell you very emphatically, and I want to say that Treasury single account has helped our system a great deal and has been substantially complied with. Right, Mr. Demi. Okay, fine. The TSA has helped the system. Now, how much of this have they channeled into infrastructure development? We still have deficit in that area. And besides, most of the state uh, governments are still owing. Thank you so much. I, 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 I want to tell you that uh, the work of Treasury Single Account, or let me say specifically, the work of the Remita Innovation, the very novel innovation that was actually made possible by a Nigerian, I mean, uh, uh, IT personnel, is not to determine how the fund that is generated I mean, it's spent. The work of Treasury Single Account is to help government to mop up fund. Now, 
reinvesting that back into the system is purely an affair of government that has nothing to do with the discussion of the Treasury single account. Now, whether infrastructure has worked or not is another debate entirely that government has to do themselves. But the essence, the basic, I mean, objective and mandate of the Treasury single account is to make sure that we are able to accrue funds, we are able to generate and be able to manage and get together in one place that amount of money that Nigerians have paid in form of tax, that people have paid in the courts. When you go to a court today and you want to make any court activity, you have to go and pay into TSA account. So for me, infrastructural development is another phase that we need to begin to look at, that we need to begin to appraise. I mean, to look at how the monies that are made from TSA work for Nigeria. But before now, the point is even that the monies cannot be made. The point is that the monies find their, I mean, their way into private pockets, and it's become, it became difficult for governments to actually understand how to manage the, I mean, what was coming in, in, in order to be able to reinvest it back into the system. Mr. So Day, I mean, the we, takeaway we... point here is that TSA is being implemented in such a way that it will cut the, I mean, the powers of the people in government, the elites, in the interest of the common man on the street. So All right, Mr. Demi. TSA has Mr. Demi, Mr. Demi, I mean, just before I let you go, if you can hear me, just before I, I let you, I let you go. We don't really have uh, much time here. Just uh, yes or no, do you want this initiative to continue? I mean, the TSA initiative. Yes or no? Sorry, come again. Do you want this initiative to continue? Yes or no? Of course, it, yes, it must continue in the right. interest of the buses. All right, thank you very much uh, for your time, Mr. Adeyemi. I'm sure we'll still have more time to discuss this um, further. Olabade Adeyemi is the Executive Director, Africa Media Roundtable Initiative.